How's it going everybody? Hope you're having a great weekend. In this video, I took a trip up to Bowling Green, Kentucky this past Thursday. And uh, the only train I got was L403. L403 was coming back from working some customers the north side of Bowling Green. And as you can see, he is led by a GP40-3, 6545. And he was running Lawn Hood Ford. And he was heading back to Memphis Junction Yard. And we will go down to Memphis Junction and see him working again there in just a minute. So as you can see, we have a medium approach medium on the signal at South in uh, Bowling Green siding. Uh, this again was for L403 to go into the siding and shove one grand car back down into Memphis Junction Yard. So we're going to watch uh, L403 shove this grand car in and I did get called a foamer. So let's watch L403 shove one grand car back into the Memphis Junction Yard. Alright, so now we're doing some sightseeing. I did leave 403 uh, back at Memphis Junction Yard, and I found a block signal at Rich Pond, uh, Kentucky. Uh, the crossing right next to me had has modern industry lights, and I was checking to see if there's any uh, updates to that crossing because it looks like there is signal foundation for some new signals to come up, which they're probably going to take away those. Uh, modern energy signals so nothing was coming uh, as you can see this head is off and the other two heads are off uh, on the other side so this is at mile post 121.7 so I stopped at Pied Mill Road this is one of the last stops uh, I wanted to see if there's any update to this crossing, and there was not. Uh, the signal on the left has modern industry lights as well, just like Rich Pond Road. Uh, both of those crossing tours will be linked in the description. But yeah, both signals were red, or one little signal was red, and it took the other two. So I decided to make my way home. So that is about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you next time.